Hey, uh, welcome to SCRB TV. <clears throat> uh, getting over a little, uh, you know, cold here, but uh, you know, there's about you know two minutes left of injury time in the Arsenal Fulham, uh, not Fulham, West Ham game, and Arsenal's trailing one nil through uh, from a goal from Declan Rice error by Granite Shaka, and uh, <clears throat> I haven't made any videos in a while because. You know, uh, festive period and, and you know, also got smashed by Liverpool and all that. Um, but I tell you, well, I talked about that, but since then I haven't made one and, and things like that. But I tell you, this Arsenal team, the long and short of it is I love Arsenal. And I'm always going to love Arsenal forever. But the days of us really competing with United, City, uh, Tottenham, um, um, who are the other people? Liverpool, you know, people like that, Chelsea, they're all gone because our, our owner, our owner, uh, does not spend any money. Uh, Koscielny just go, but they called it back for offsides. But, you know, it's, uh, yeah, two guys are offside. Ramsey and, uh, Kolasinac were offside. But, our owner is, is he has killed the club. The club is dead. It doesn't matter who the manager is. It's not it's not Unai Emery's fault. Um, the guys that we have in our team are a lot of average guys, um, decent players, but no world beaters. And if you don't have world beaters, then you're not a big club. And uh, it's unfortunate, you know. Um, I mean, the way I look at it, it's kind of exciting because. Arsenal is not guaranteed to win any game. So when if you say you're a supporter of Arsenal, when we oh Lacazette is a wow Lacazette almost almost saved it, almost saved it, but we lost. It's over, and uh, so as I'm saying, you know, if you don't invest in your club, if you don't try to bring in the proper players. I mean, Stan Kroenke has used no, zero of his own money to furnish the first team. Meanwhile, uh, Abramovich, Sheikh Mansour, the Glazers, uh, the dudes at Liverpool, they've all used their own money to, to get people in. And if we are not going to spend money, which we are clearly not, I mean, they're talking about we can only loan players in January. If we can only loan players... Man, listen. What what it is is he's this guy Cronky is is all about business, all about making money. He doesn't care about the fans. He doesn't care if he wins. So it's for, for me to my fellow Arsenal Gunners. Yo, it's like, dude, we're we're if we can if we can stay between five and ten, that's as good as listen. Our our new goals are stay between five and ten in the league and beating Tottenham every time we play them. That's it. Beating Tottenham every time we play them. And then we are not in contention with United, with Liverpool, with City, with Chelsea. Chelsea we want to beat because they're a rival as well. But, like, those, the, the top six games, the top five games, when we play those top five teams ten times, we, we want to try to win those games just for the fans. The players are going to give us something. But in terms of getting in the top four, get being a, a title challenger, it's not going to ever happen again. Not with this owner. And for as long as Stan Kroenke is the owner of Arsenal, we will never, I repeat, never challenge for the league. Never. A real title contention. Never. Unai Emery is a fantastic manager. But he has no players that can really get the job done. And when we want to go get players, we're asking other clubs to loan us lads because we ain't got no money. I mean, it's just, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit sad. You know, it's a bit sad. I mean, now they're going to talk about West Ham, like West Ham played a great game. No, West Ham won the game because also we're so poor. West Ham weren't great. We weren't clinical enough in the final third. Defensively, we make we make the one bonehead error and we pay for it. Why did Granite check ahead the ball like that? But you know what? Arsenal is such a Arsenal is such a a, a, a a standard team that 
every week, every game, the people selected to play have to be at their best. We cannot go into a game where three guys aren't playing well and somebody saves the day for us. We're not that good. Okay, that's what City has. That's what Liverpool have with those front three at Liverpool, yes. You know what I mean? But, like, we just don't have it like that. I thought Lacazette was good today, should have scored, but he was overall, he was a good, good, uh, bright spot for us. Iwobi was very good, I thought. Unlucky not to score. I, he's got to put that away. Um, but after that, nobody else was good. Shaka was terrible, you know. And I don't want to, like, you know, blast him now because, you know, at the beginning it wasn't great, but then one that run and everything looked great. And then, and then now it's not good again. Overall, Shaka is not good enough, man. He's not. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I, as I said, I love my Arsenal. We're going to fight to the death. I'm going to stay with my boys, but we, don't, we, 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 we won't get the reinforcements that we need. And therefore, we're just going to be bang average, man. So if we finish between 6 and 10, that's all right. That's okay. That's, I mean, it's not okay, but we as fans have nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? Unless, unless dudes stop going to the games, like what the Blackpool fans did. Don't go to the games. Don't go at all. The, the folks, the gunners that go to the games, don't go. Then, then, uh, Cronky will, will have to reconfigure his plans. But that's how it is. You get me? That's what it is, man. That's what it is. I got a heated blanket on right now. I got socks on, too. So, it's like, I'm dying. Uh, feels good, though. I got to see the socks off. But, yeah, man. It's just like, I mean, the goal was terrible. I'm, I'm seeing the replay right now. So, look, uh, Felipe Anderson gets away from Lacazette. Cross, poor cross. This man, this man headed it into the middle of the box. He headed it. He laid it. Yeah, why are you heading the ball? He headed it down to the feet of Nasri. He played it to Nasri. Oh, Shaka. Whatever. Whatever. And what about the opportunity that, that uh, Lacazette had? Not Lacazette. Aubameyang, the opportunity, they're showing it right now. He takes a touch, Cresswell comes, and he blazes it over the bar. Why not cut it back to your right foot and let hey, Cresswell slide? Because you knew he was always going to slide. Why not? Why not? But, you know, if we finish sixth this season, we'll be lucky. Because United are reinvigorated from the departure of Mourinho. All those young bloods want to play well now. Because they want to prove that it was all Mourinho's fault. But, you know what? It's terrible. Arsenal, we are, we are, not, we are not who we used to be. It's all over, man. Stan Kroenke has killed us. He has killed us. You know? I mean, looking at our squad, it's not good enough. It's, it, it's sad. I mean, Fabianski just said that they dominated most of the game. No, they didn't. No, y'all didn't. No, you didn't. It's a joke. I mean, what are these guys looking at? They didn't dominate the game. They didn't dominate the game. Joke. Joke, bro. Joke, man. Joke. So, yeah, dude. That's where we are right now. It's uh, it's a bit sad, but what are you going to do? So, um, United. I think United will beat Tottenham tomorrow. I really think so. Because those guys are really trying to stick it to Mourinho. They're gonna win. They're gonna. They're gonna get top four now. Because I think Chelsea will falter as well. United will get it, and I hate United, but they're gonna get it. So, well, that's what it is. Just want to get a quick shout. Um, uh, we'll. Uh, I'll, I'll probably. No, nah, I'm not gonna do one after the Man United Tottenham game because, like I said, Man United is gonna. He's gonna get the three points. I think, and it's not only how. But it depends on how the game goes. Like, if there's something glaring or something, you know, really interesting to talk about, maybe I'll do it. But, you know, it was tough. But my uh, my under-13 boys and under-10 boys have games this morning. So I'm going to go get ready for that. So, yeah. Arsenal are, Arsenal are dead. We're dead, mate. Uh, let me know what you think about the game today. Arsenal loses 1-0 to West Ham in the London Derby. At the Olympic Stadium, goal by Declan Rice, the wank who 
try to dip on Ireland and try to get Engl Engl uh, get an English cap. Get out of here, bro. Anyway, subscribe at the bottom, SGRB TV. Ciao.